Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching, Learning Statics, and today we're going to do problem 661. It says, determine the force P required to hold a 100 pound weight in equilibrium. So, this problem comes right after the chapter of frames and machinery. Now, in here we got this machine or this system that is called pulley. What we need to know about pulley is that pulleys are usually just this round system that around its uh, surface area has some rope a rope that it would create a tension in these ropes, okay? So we'll have a tension in this. Now, what we need to know in here is that the tension that this rope is doing, it has to be the same as this tension that this other rope is doing, okay? And we will see it uh, more clear later. So in order to solve for this problem, we're going to draw three body diagrams of my pulley at A, my pulley B, my pulley C, and my pulley D. So in here, let's just start drawing my free body diagram of my pulley A. And what do I have in my pulley A? So for my pulley A, I have the weight of our crating here that is equal to 100 pounds going downward. So I'm going to draw a force going downward, downwards. Then I have the tension going up on this side and then the same tension going up on here. So I'm going to call them T and since they are the same, T and T, okay? After we do this, we can apply the sum of forces in the y direction, assuming that going up is positive. And what do we have? Well, we got T plus T, therefore 2T minus a hundred pounds and this should be equal to zero therefore we cannot we can say then that t will be equal to positive 100 when i move it to the other side divided by two and this will give me 50 pounds okay the next thing we need to do is draw the free body diagram of my pulley b and what do i have since this is B, then I'll have this tension that comes from A that we call T, but in this case, it's gonna pull me down. So we're gonna have T going down. And then we have these tensions that are going up from the side, so here and here. Then I'm going just to call them R for rope, just we can name it a different variable, okay? Now, we know the value of T, which is equal to 50 pounds in here. And we can apply it again, the summatory of forces in the y direction, assuming that going up is positive. And what do we have? Well, we got two R's going up, and then we got negative 50 going down. And all this should be equal to zero. If we solve for R again, we will find out that this is equal to 25 pounds. The last free body diagram that we have to draw is my pulley C. So free body diagram of my pulley Z. And what do I have? I got the tension coming from B that we call R. So this guy over here going down. So we'll have R going down. Then we will have these tensions going up from the sides. And let's call them F for force, since these tensions are forces. And let's solve for them. So if we do some material forces in the y direction, assuming that going up is positive, what do I have? Well, I got 2F minus R, and we found out that R is 25. And this should be equal to zero. If we solve for F, we will find out that this will be equal to 12.5 pounds. There we go. Now, the question is asking for P. So what is P? If we were to pay attention to my pulley D, we'll find out that the pulley has this tension P going this way. Therefore, this P has to be the same one that this that is here next to C. And we just find that one out, which is this guy that we call F in here. Therefore, my force P has to be equal to my force F. 
And that's the key part about solving these pulley systems. Therefore, my P is equal to 12.5 pounds. And this is my answer. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. Please push the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.